Hello everybody, hope you're all doing fine today. Today I'm out doing some errands and uh, later I'll see if I can get some work done on the Range Rover. driving around doing errands, let's get to the front airbag that I actually did yesterday. As you can see I took off the wheel lining, the plastic cover, there's just five clips holding it in place. That makes access to the airbag much much easier and I recommend it. What I had trouble was getting these clips out and especially back in, especially this one. Those two clips need to be removed before you can remove the airbag. And I also have some issues with my air hose on the new airbag. So taking off the wheel liner was really a necessary thing to do. Here you can see the new airbag installed and there's the bolt that you have to remove. And then you can pull out that clip holding the airbag down to the axle. And remove the two clips on the top and the airline. And then remove the whole airbag from the car. Here you can see the same procedure with the clips that I did on the rear wheel liner. There's five of these clips, not the small ones, but the big ones on the front wheel liner. To pull out those clips, you just need a big flat screwdriver that you pry in between the clip and the center pin in the clip. Then you pry out that center pin from the clip. They can be a little bit sticky. And then when you get it a little bit out, you can use pliers or just simply pull it out like this. Then pull out the rest of the clip from the wheel liner. Maneuver the wheel liner out of the wheel well by push the wheel liner towards the center of the car to detach it from the metal and then remove the liner. Here you can see the old airbag. It's really starting to crack on the bottom. So it was starting to leak. And there's the hole for the clip. And here's the two clips on the top that holds it to the chassis. Assembly was a bit tricky because the bottom clip was really hard to get into the airbag. I had to file down the rust on the axle to get that extra half millimeter to actually hit the hole. You can partially see the hole when laying under the car and looking at the airbag. Unless you're superhuman, the top clips are really really hard to get to and install without removing the wheel liner. And then I also had an issue with inserting the airline into the new airbag. It would not go far enough into the airbag. So after messing around with it for a long time, I finally got it to stick in there. But I'm not too happy about the fit, so I might have to redo that uh, fitting again. I'll see how it works on the road. Then it's just a matter of putting back the wheel liner, be careful not to scratch the paint, insert it uh, with the clips to the fender first and then maneuver it up there and install those five clips. I hope you found this useful and interesting. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you want to leave me some feedback, which I really love, use the comment field below. Hit that like button if you like this video. And again, thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a nice weekend and I'll see you guys next week.